Welcome back. The Premier League has announced that a total of 40 individuals tested positive for COVID-19. The highest number of uh, positive tests, you know, that have been recorded in a week this season. In two rounds of tests conducted, of course, last week. Since the new season kicked off, 171 individuals in the English top flight have te uh, tested positive for the novel coronavirus in 19 rounds of testing. The league which is now conducting a, a test twice per week, did not name the people who tested positive, but said they will self-isolate for 10 days. Uh, we've uh, now been joined by our very own Udo Kaunjoku to share his thoughts on the EPL. Yeah, um, good morning. Good morning, Udoka. Coming at a time when Manchester United is about to be top in the league. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. This is a conspiracy theory to prevent <laughs> the greatest club in the world from being top of the league. But anyway, um, what do you think you know, might be the effect of, of this on the EPL? Yeah, it's, it's gradual. We're beginning to see um, games being postponed. And uh, there will also be um, sides being depleted because uh, if the cases keep on rising, some of these players will have to self-isolate meaning that they will not get to feature in their first team football. It will also cause um, postponement of major games. We saw the game between Newcastle United and Tottenham Hotspur postponed yes. because some of the players contracted the virus. There's also the game that involved Chelsea also postponed. And I mean, Everton and Manchester City also postponed. And a whole lot of clubs came out talking to us saying uh, this isn't good for football because when the games are rescheduled, it means that we're going to have fixture pile up and this will lead to fatigue teams will be dropping points if you don't have team squads that are large enough they'll get to drop points from the EPL and it will surely affect their positioning at the end of the season so I, I don't think it's a good one if uh, we allow these games go on as planned mm. and uh, do you think this is likely to lead to a shutdown of football in the UK yeah so the Prime Minister uh, Boris Johnson said uh, there'll be a shutdown major activities but football can go on um, talking about the EPL and other leagues now. But then, if the cases continue rising, like we just saw recently, 40 cases, this is the highest so far since they started the testing of the players. So if these cases continue rising, I think we don't have any choice than to call off football for now. But if football is called off, it will affect the TV rights. Um, TV, mon money to be made from the deals from these players and the club sites as well. So I think the UK are trying to find a balance to allow clubs make money and of course the TV uh, ownership of, of the EPL also to cash out on, on the games of football in, in, the, in the UK as well. So I don't think it's good if there should be a shutdown of football, mm. but that would be the next step to take. So really trying times. I don't remember any time that, you know, sports generally has, you know, had this much trouble and mm -hmm. this much stress. True. Um, you know, we've had to go months and months and months without fans being allowed into the stadium. Exactly. You know, and now there's even a possibility that everything, you know, is going to be, you know, turned off completely. Exactly. Um, you know, how, you know, how, how really will this affect, you know, players and their mindsets, you know, and yeah. as well as forward. well as the fans. Yeah, you know, um, when the season started, they said fans can come into the stadium about five thousand fans can come in, wear your face mask and practice social distancing. You don't celebrate with each other when your team scored, uh, scores goals. And we saw the joy on the football teams. We saw the players enjoying the games because they, they, they see fans in the stadium. They have something to play for. Then after two weeks, the cases started rising and they said no fans should come into the stadium to watch any sort of football. Now, fans are not allowed to come to the stadium. All protocols will have to be um, um, followed. But my point is, whatever happens now, there will be a total shutdown of football because, I mean, football cannot just continue because the, 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 the cases are so rising. And uh, it's, it's, it's not just in England now, even in Spain, Italy, France. So there will be a general shutdown of football and it is not good for our sports, to, to be honest. Terrible so news, mm -hmm. terrible news. And yeah. yes, Manchester United is playing against Manchester yeah. City today in the EFL. In Cup. the EFL, no you know, fans. which doesn't you know, stop them from climbing to the top of the league <laughs> after they beat Burnley <laughs> uh, yeah. not long from now. So uh, for everyone who's looking forward to that, you know, just look at watch it, watch it happen. Do you expect Manu would win the game? Uh, I'll sit on the fence on this one. Mm. <laughs> and definitely, you can imagine this would affect the morale of the players, seeing yeah. the fans are not there to cheer them and on. You know, the, the players can even be safe, but we have older coaches, coaches who are around 60 to 80 years, the likes of Marcelo Bielsa, uh, the manager right there, Leeds United, and there's also Sam Allardyce, who's managing West Bromwich Albion. He came out to say that, look, 
he can't risk his life. COVID-19 is real and he has kids at home, he's of age and he doesn't want to contract the virus because if he does, he stands the risk of losing his life. So Sorry. let there be a pause on football for now, but we're waiting for the FA to make a final statement on this one. All right. Well, um, thanks a lot to Doka for yeah. stepping in and for sharing your uh, views with us this morning. We'll, of course, follow up on the EPL and see how that uh, plays out. Uh, that's how we wrap up the breakfast this morning. It's been a very interesting run. Uh, of course, uh, moving from one conversation to the next. But if you missed out on any of this, remember, you can join us and if, uh, do a follow-up on social media. Our platforms are simply at Plus TV Africa uh, on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Same with our YouTube uh, channel. Indeed. Thank you very much uh, for keeping it a date with us. Do join us tomorrow for more interesting conversations on what's happening in Nigeria. I am Osaogi Ogbawang. And I am Aneta Felix. Have a beautiful week.